Gemini's welcome. Doing a special timeless read this week for the heart spread, a little bit different than the normal reads. Um, this is normally the read I do for the one that's on your mind. Um, this week I'm going to do all signs and do a kind of a check-in um, for and uh, use the heart spread uh, like I normally would. Uh, but in the number two position here, we're going to put um, our own uh, anima, let's call it our animus, that we project. It's kind of how I conceive of the first house, seventh house in astrology. Think Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, too, uh, for this reading. Um, and kind of get an idea. If, if uh, you haven't, please do check this whole family read I do every day. Um, and it's a... Uh, a daily collective read for anyone who resume, resonates uh, more about spirituality and manifestation. So I'm kind of thinking along those lines here too. A little bit of check-in. You know, besides like specifically the love life and the other person, it's kind of like how are we doing, you know, here Jim and I, uh, with that energy within ourselves of uh, the anima, the perfect masculine or the, uh, the animus or the anima, the perfect female energy whichever we might project um, into um, the uh, seventh house of desire for the other person Ethereal visions illuminated tarot deck so um, let's do this I say it's timeless just for whenever you see this uh, it doesn't really matter if it's November or this year or <laughs> next year so hey maybe you're reading have a little bit of life I don't think you can always check in with that you know, hopefully over time, did we read this and, and things are going to change and how we uh, project that anima and animus, which I think all this has a whole lot to do with manifestation, if you're any way into that. So, this is your energy now. Ten of Pentacles, this is fantastic. Here's a start. So, normally I say this is your energy, uh, where your mind and heart is at, in and around this uh, love and relationships. To kind of distinguish it from the person that's on your mind um, and get kind of a baseline as to where you're at just as a person that works the second work the same here um, so this would speak to a Gemini that's uh, and this is personal energy minor Kana has achieved some kind of stability in their life and uh, it's feeling pretty good I mean if you read intuitively you kind of look at that card it's pretty you know, gives you a pretty good feeling. Um, you know, kind of wealth and abundance. You know, purple. You, you see it. That usually indicates a um, crown chakra, <laughs> but also um, you know, wealth and grapes up there. The kind of meeting there's got a grape ar arbor. Um, so this is great energy to come into this with. So it's like you're doing your part. Okay. So let's look at what's going on with the projection. Now this is meant to be your anima animus that you're projecting. What is it you're projecting from this uh, Ten of Pentacles energy you have, Gemini? And um, it's ones, number one. Um, it's kind of like trouble, um, wounded warriors. Let's just put it like that. Have, have you bound yourself uh, uh, bringing in people that are wounded warriors, you could say. Um, and if you bring in the Ten of Pentacles energy, it's almost like you would draw them to you. Um, you know. Um, and this wounded warrior is looking right at you. You're not really looking. This looks like to me, uh, Gemini, too, you're also in energy. If you are, if you are considering, you know, manifestation, which I, a lot about how I read this. But this is also about just spiritually, how are we aligning with the, you know, this is kind of our desire nature over here, the seventh house too. And it could be any relationship, not just romantic. But how are we projecting what we want into the world? Um, and it seems like there's, it's just the big thing is a wound. There's like a wound. Um, and it's ages old and covered up with this Ten of Pentacles energy. Like, you might be the last person anyone would think of as any way wounded. But if this is the case, if you're resonating, why do you keep getting these wounded um, lovers coming in? Wow. 
chariot. Um, in this position, this is your energy, normally I'd say towards the person on your mind, being a human lover. Here, this is how you're feeling about this relationship with your own anima animus. Um, this to me shows that you're a spiritual person, you probably are manifesting. The chariot is, is very um, high functioning energy. I believe it's like it involves spiritual alignment with the, uh, your path. Um, you may feel like you're on the right path. That would be the phrase that would come to me with this Ten of Pentacles. And if you do, I'd have to say you are. Not to blow smoke up your ass because it's your reading, but you are with this Ten of Pentacles and the Chariot, you know. Um, and it shows that you have some enthusiasm um, for this here. Cancer energy too. So, a little bit, this is Capricorn energy, Gemini, with your Ten of Pentacles and your Cancer. So, um, it's like uh, your person, you're bringing in these wounded people. Cancer wants to take care of them. That's what Cancer does. Uh, it's very good at um, and give to them. Um, and it's kind of the, uh, you're coming from a position of strength, like a Capricorn. And kind of expressing your opposite in the way of these people. Um, the, the, the most simple advice with that um, is, you know, you don't be the person that typically takes care of everybody else and doesn't take care of themselves, um, you know, because maybe it's that energy of taking care of yourself that gets projected over here. And what do you get? People that haven't taken care of themselves. It's like the universe's way of helping you to balance out and take care of yourself. It's not really like karma, someone fucking with you. Strength card. This is interesting here because now I'm reading your own uh, projection. How is that looking back at you? Guys, your Ten of Pentacles, uh, it looks back at you as strong, okay? So the emphasis here, yes, uh, you are strong. Um, Ten of Pentacles, you're, you're coming across, that's being, it's what you're projecting too. So you may be getting two people that, although they are wounded, you know, they're not... Uh, uh, losers or anything like that. I mean, you could literally be getting soldiers, guys coming up in your life, um, um, and people who maybe had to fight for what they got, you know, in life, and have a certain strength to them. It's also Leo energy, it's also fire energy, and also the wands are fire. And it comes to mind with the Ten of Pentacles. Often with that energy, Capricorn energy, maybe we have Capricorn moon, Capricorn rising, I don't know. Um, maybe it's, we all have Capricorn somewhere, you know, in our charts. My Gemini is a 10th house. It's a huge effect on, on my life. Um, but there's something here with you being attracted to this fire. Um, and that's wounded uh, kind of energy. So that's what's kind of being projected. Um, there's something like emotionally that keeps you from really lighting up and being passionate. Maybe it's just about life itself, you know? And so that's what you like in these people, that while they may be wounded, they're fully alive, you know, and strong personalities. I, I, you know, I just be a little careful because I'm kind of, I, I really hate to go narcissist, but that kind of could bring in narcissist stuff. I don't know how you would react to that. Now, what Spirit's saying with this, this is your advice towards your person. Normally I'd say this is Spirit's advice on how to deal with your lover. This is Spirit's advice on how to deal now with this anima anima projection. And with the Magician, that's very much to realize that you are completely in control of this. You know, this over here, this wounded people, the fire, this is under your control. It's not random. Uh, do see um, the Soul Family read today. Um, I'll leave a link down in the description. That's just a general read for what resonates, but kind of talk about this very similar type of thing in a deeper uh, spiritual individual read. But it's like, um, you know, once you realize that you are this, you have this, you know, you won't need to project this wounded part out anymore. That's the theory of it, and um, I think that that could make sense. And now this is coming back at you. As if from your own anima anima. So what does that mean? Normally this is how do I see your person's advice from spirit 
towards you? What am I going to tell them? Um, you know, but here it becomes a little different. Um, this is the uh, advice from spirit about how this is working, how your anima, the anima is working. And you got to realize you've got the magician and death here. It's like you have control of where the transformation goes. That's kind of important. I might remember that for the title. But you have control of this manifestation. But it's like you, it's also like you have to take control of it. I mean, this, uh, not manifestation, yes, but this transformation. And, you know, that's not normal, uh, really, uh, with death. Normally, it's like you absolutely have no control. But it's kind of indicating that uh, it, the magician is coming under the chariot. There's all kinds of spiritual alignments here. It literally could be that you are much stronger than you realize here, Gemini. That's really what I think this is kind of saying. And because you even have so much strength that you yourself can have an influence over the outcome of a transformative process. It's probably around Pluto somewhere in your chart. Uh, Pluto transit, you know, it could be another planet transiting your natal Pluto. So it's useless to even say where uh, Pluto is now, which is 25 uh, Capricorn, but um, could just be that uh, you know, hitting you some significant aspect to uh, your life opposite your moon. God help you like me. Okay, so now again, this is different because normally this is advice for spirit for the relationship as a whole or if there is one by this time when I when the heart spread sometimes I just find you're thinking about somebody you're you know Jones and four and there's uh, nothing there at all um, but here it's advice from spirit and it's in the crux of the heart spread I take it pretty seriously of um, um, how to make this work uh, as a whole this this uh, balance your projection your anima animus energy whichever way you're going with it um and you know this is kind of like a hard talk to me you know this is kind of like a it, it could often mean like a really vicious argument but seeing how this is going on within yourself it's like maybe the way they're saying that you take control of this manifestation um with the magician and, and what's in between the magician and this transformation because you know we don't know what's on the other side tra of transformation but you might and to take control of it is not going to be easy it's going to involve um, really dealing with something that's in your mind that's hard it could be something like just triggery as fuck that you just don't want to deal with or you never wanted to deal with it i would think something like that um but it's like saying to me like by doing that and it talking about really taking some time and in internalizing something really internalizing something and this too look at how the battle's over and he's sitting there calmly now he's probably exhausted from the adrenaline of fighting and now he's really got perspective and he's thinking about it like was it man what is this all about this was like what the hell and having some time to really think about with perspective it's almost being able to look back on a transformation too. think about it these amazing transformations we look back 10 years later they look so different than when we're in the midst of them so let's see what the outcome of this is so conversation look at that guys what am I saying this you're gonna have to like have this session with yourself this is nobody but you. I mean, you could consult an astrologer and, or a tarot reader. You uh, could consult a really good friend. Uh, this is actually not a bad energy for a therapist. I, I went therapy when I was 18. I was in therapy years and years of my life. Uh, some people should know you can go to therapist at any point and just to help get perspective sometimes. Um, or maybe just support when you're in a difficult time. But judgment is being called up and it's like so you know um it, you're watching this reading you made this far you're being called up you're gonna have to take control of this you're gonna be um doing it it's gonna not be easy it's gonna be dealing with some probably really negative self-talk that's what this is you know uh, you come on you're never gonna get a good love come on you're not you know good enough or all of that type type of stuff 
but the outcome here is that you're going to make the judgment you're going to be called up and i think you're going to rise to the occasion here um particularly a lot of it because you've got the chariot over the magician there's somebody that's going places spiritually right um you know um and so in terms of your manifestation i think what that's going to bring it's going to bring something a lot deeper like if you were just trying to manifest a good job or a new car you know you're going to manifest an amazing career that uh, you know transforms your entire life if you were just saying oh i just want a good man or just a good woman now it's like no i want to be six foot tall and athletic and uh, humorous and uh, whatever you know you're gonna level up here uh, but it's because like you're kind of like gonna accept your destiny I just think it's gonna take you places with the cherry the magician it's gonna take you places it is gonna involve a transformation so in some way you're right now you're going through something after which you know because death's over here the way you think about uh, an anima or an animus is going to be transformed okay it's probably not going to be you may still get the fire person maybe that's what turn, turns you on you know i mean sex comes into it a lot too you know and preferences maybe you like a dominant uh, fiery person you know but with after this transformation's over and this judgment you rise to your call for judgment um what it is that you call in what it is that you want from your position originally of a lot of strength here and we also have the King of Pentacles in the bottom of the deck, which I do read now. So, you know, that's that's you. Your male field doesn't matter, but very strong energy here. Um, and uh, it should just be interesting, you know. It's like, basically, now it's like, at this point, anything's possible. It's like the end of the ma first matrix. <laughs> right? So thank you, guys. Give me a like, share, thumbs up, tell a friend, tell a friend. If you can think of any... Um, mediums to share this on please do I think it might be helpful relevant it would help me out do comment that helps and do subscribe and hit the bell thank you guys